Life Track with Chuck Swindoll is a presentation of Insight for Living Canada. Let me give you a couple of statements that kind of wraps it up for me, okay? Number one, it takes authenticity and integrity to win a hearing. It takes authenticity and integrity to win a hearing. It takes authenticity and integrity to, to win a hearing. Maybe if I say it one more time, you really will let that sink in. Be real. Be real. You wounded them. You offended them. Go over there and apologize. What are you waiting for? You holding a grudge? Tell them you've been holding a grudge. Just tell them. Tell them you're sorry. You formed a wrong opinion. Tell them you jumped to the wrong conclusions. Or you were going through a tough time, but there's no excuse. You apologize. That's authenticity. Tell the truth. That's integrity. Just be honest. Authenticity and integrity gives you an open door. Wins a hearing. Here's a second one. This will haunt you. It's impossible to convince anyone of any truth you're not living. It's impossible to convince anyone of a truth that you're not living. You want to talk about the forgiveness of God? Why don't you forgive them? Or forgive the person you've been talking about? About the love of God? How about loving your wife or husband as Christ loved the church? It's an amazing thing for couples to see couples that love each other. (laughs) Cynthia and I have a little fun at restaurants. When we go, people will say, this is a special evening. We say, no, we've been doing this forever. And they said, "Uh, really, how long have you been living? Uh, living. How long have you been married? <laughs> They're one and the same, so that it's, it's the same answer. So we say 50, 50 years, wait, hey, and they call the waiters over, and they go, hey, they, they sing. It's terrible singing, but they <laughs> sing, and then they applaud, like, what is the deal? Well, we've never known anybody stay together that long. That's life in the backyard. And we don't stand up and say, now we will tell you. The secret of our marriage. We are so holy. (laughs) Please. When are we going to learn, huh? You want to know how to pack this church out? Live like this. That community out here, outside the fence, they have no idea what this is about. You know what they think about us? They're scared of us. We sing songs they don't know. We do things they're not familiar with. We sit in rows and listen to one guy yell. (laughs) We come inside a room that doesn't have any windows. We do it every week, three times a Sunday. We don't talk to them once a month. Being rocket science, folks. You live like this, can't build a building big enough, can't keep them out. Who doesn't want to be a part of something like this? And it's all said and done, you don't even have a hangover. <laughs> How's that? And when you die, you go to heaven. Shoot. <laughs> this is the best deal on the planet, man. <laughs> And we're driving them off in droves, trying to make them religious. Please. Worst thing that ever happened to the world is religion. It'll run it every time. We've been sent to preach Christ with our lives to a world living in darkness. God calls us to dispel the darkness and carry the light of Christ by how we live, because our lives reflect the Savior to a watching world. And that's a matter of life and death. This is Steve Johnson of Insight for Living Canada. Listen to more of Chuck Swindoll's Lifetrack messages at lifetrack.ca. Lifetrack, where life and truth meet. The preceding Lifetrack presentation was brought to you by Insight for Living Canada. The original message, Living Before a Watching World, was copyrighted in 2006 
and this Life Track sound recording was copyrighted in 2015 by Charles R. Swindoll Incorporated. All rights are reserved worldwide.